blanket of warmth. That's where we get our, our you know, our, our, our good feeling, you know, when we're cold and, and, and good feeling when we have uh, negative energy sometimes and it lifts us and it brings us warmth and it brings us energy to, to, do, to do more things in life. It actually started here on Treaty 4 ground and I had the pleasure of working with Wendell Star Blanket on some volunteer work I was doing. I told her about a dream and a vision I had for First Nations people and that's to help them address the water issue, water treatment plants, uh, mold, uh, uh, those types of things and she says well we have interesting that you should talk about that because we've developed We've developed this system. We figured out a, an easy way to use your house furnace and distribute the heat better. So rather than blowing the heat out with warm air, uh, which results in rising heat in cold basements, we uh, basically take a certain amount of that heat, turn it into hot water, and circulate it through radiant piping applied to the basement walls. So we thought, well, we can't do this by ourselves. Let's, let's bring in the best and the brightest that we know. One of Upanor's main core values is to create better human environments. Upanor is a pipe manufacturer, so we manufacture PEX tubing for radiant heating, plumbing, and residential fire sprinkler systems. And so we first got involved in this when Ora Lee had contacted me with Wendell and Sonia's situation with the mold in their home. So both of our joint products come together to create the solution and solve the problem. Essentially we take the existing furnace and McPherson Engineering has come up with a product called Radiant Link, which essentially is a coil that heats up the water going through the pipes as the furnace is running. So once the water is running through the pipes over to the pump, the pump keeps the water circulating and reheating through the coil. It only has um, just a very thin insulation and so that allows what the conduction of the heat from the pipe to go to the cement and create a thermal mass. So basically what that means is you're using the whole cement wall behind the heat to create the heat. The data shows that this home was very very sick. Uh, as you can see behind me this board I, I built myself along with my Aboriginal employees. So this offers us an opportunity to provide employment to First Nations people in the sector and also bring wealth to the community. Uh, we've taken this project on because it gives us an opportunity to bring First Nations housing up to a healthy, a healthy medium for our people. I teach uh, a course called uh, uh, Capstone Project. So this is the final year project for all engineering students. There are two parts in the project. One is to compare the house where it was, the system was already installed to a new house that didn't have the system and compare you know, the temperature variation, humidity levels and so on, uh, energy consumption and electricity consumption and so on. Second part was to help you know, design and install uh, the new system in the new house and they were very proud. I think they were very emotional even to talk about it when they started uh, presenting their, uh, their uh, results. The 17 goals of sustainable development, number 12 is my favorite and that's about responsible consumption and production. And that's what this project was all about. It's like, we are not gonna throw all these houses in the garbage. We are going to look for the assets and make them better, and that's what we did. It's improved our living conditions, our breathing conditions, uh, our allergies, our asthma, they have all disappeared. So it's been a complete turnaround in our, in our health. It starts at home of self-worth, self-value, you know. Lots of our structures for our families, they're subpar in that. And that has a lingering effect on our attitudes and that, you know, because we come from a place where things aren't even up to date as they are off reserve. And this gives us an opportunity to bring not only our home fires up to um, a healthy standard and that, you know, and then we know we deserve better, not only ourselves, but as a people.
the more homes we get it in, the more homes we're gonna save, the more lives that we're gonna improve. It's all about healing our people and making sure that they have a good life, that they live a good life. And I believe this project is so important that, that this project will do that.